Hey guys, welcome back to Unmedicated and Dysfunctional. I'm Kenz. This is Night in the Woods. Quite frankly, it's been about five weeks since I've played this game, so I really have no idea where we stopped off, but I'm very excited to jump back in and continue and see where we left off, keep digging up that story, and go ahead and wrap up. So I am so excited. Here we go. Oh yeah, we died. It just clicked. I forgot we died last time. Where I, where are we going though? Let's maybe go this way and see if we can find our friends. That's right, I forgot about that. That was probably the weirdest sequence that we've had in this entire game. Because, yeah, I don't, I really don't know what turns are going to take. This game really touches on reality in a way that a lot of other games just don't. And it's very kind of uncomfortable in a way, but not, um, <laughs> uh, I forgot how to control. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, what button do we use? Is it, uh, huh. Uh, huh. <laughs> W-A-C-X-C, oh, it's C. Okay. Crap. Greg! May? It's May! It's May! Holy shit, dude! I thought you were gonna be dead! Not yet. You came back to life? I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can't- you can sleep in our bed! I feel weird about that. H how about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, it sound is good. Okay, so we died last time. Had some weird uh, dream thing. Why am I not going home? Oh yeah, they brought me in the church instead of a hospital, which I think was a poor choice. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Yeah, these... I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Both of you. Shush. No. Pfft. What? It's less noisy. It's less noisy when you have a lisp. So, how did you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities is closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, bae. Okay, well, just as long as you weren't- as you were sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him th I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. I guess as long as dying is the plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Why is it dark? Why Why did it go dark for that segment? Please Dink. Uh-oh. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? No, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Oh, this does not look happy. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in out in and out of consciousness. Can you eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool, I'm gonna just sleep here. Bay is there? Bay is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have May drive you home. I will. May? 
Yeah? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. I love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie, even though you didn't take me to the hospital. And you took me to a church instead, which was a poor decision. I could have died. No. Poor May. We need to lay down, is what needs to happen. Or we need to talk, I guess. <laughs> really, we should be sitting down. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was, like, really worried. You were correct to worry. It was a bad... Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar. Three. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday. At home. Cool. Okay, let's, uh... Find Bay. Figure out what's going on here. Use a computer. Maybe. If we can. Is there a signal here? Wi-Fi. Uh, okay. I got, like, a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills. And we're not big enough to get towers or something. Huh? Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever, we should, like, maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. So there's no, we can't use that computer, but we do have Wi-Fi signal, which I don't know if, how that's really going to help us. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Boop. Uh, can we hit the sack? Gonna, like, wander around your apartment? Let's go to bed. Sure, dude. Hey! Everybody go to bed now! Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya! Bye, germ. Okay, so why are we both sleeping on the couch? He's got a bed. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah? Do you know why I beat down Andy Colon six years ago? Back then you said you went all crazy, but, like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it, like, 24-7 until this one after tune, afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. It was just, like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen, like, I'd, I'd felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They, they never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like, I just lost those real people. And this whole thing we had, it, it was just me, alone. And like that realization, like dumped out of the screen and into real life, went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day, it was a friend outside the window. And I was just a thing, just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree it was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and we, he was just shapes, just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried, because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know, what could I have said? This all happened like the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes, too. Just lines someone wrote. Just nothing was there. And I was so scared and angry, I just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. 
There wasn't that much blood. God, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What he'd done. He was probably an asshole? No, dude, I, I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is understandable because he does, like, everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal stuff, did it actually work? Kinda, sorta? It, it helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since the whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like, back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, brah. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, this founder or something. A really, really bad statue. Like, all rusty metal, and, and it was just shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I drowned cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally, I got up the courage to leave and I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head. In my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. I couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room in bed. That's, that's horrible, dude. I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this and, dude. Shh, you're going to be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I... Uh... So I wonder if May has schizophrenia. And what we're seeing the whole time... Bye, guys. Love you. Where are you going? The hole in the center of everything. I wonder if what we've been seeing have been May's delusions on reality. I feel like you were facing that way, so that's the way I need to go, but I... Yeah. Yeah, I need to go up. It doesn't seem like a good idea to be pacing upwards in the condition that we're in. Just gonna point that out. Not like it matters much what I think because it's a game and we're gonna do it anyway. But that's okay. Oh, man. Okay. Who are you? What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Oh, I have to walk. Woo! Whoa! Alright! Nice shot. It wasn't aiming for his shoulder. <gasps> ah, you effing shot me! Hey, get away from her! Three of us, one of you, and none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm gonna blah, 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 blah you. Yeesh. Ugh. You okay, dude? Where did, what are, uh, where did? Hey, jerk. Why are you out here by yourself? Uh, I, I had a dream. You were all dead out here in the woods. And it was because of me. What does that even mean? Since when are you a bad dreams in charge of me? I don't know anymore. Dude. Dude. 
You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you, and I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. Are you gonna do that to me, okay? You're not gonna do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever, you big dumb idiot. And even if this was all somehow in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you to the actual gods, honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly, clearly we all would. I shot a dude for you, come on! And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and Greg. <coughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. Yes! No, I have to go alone. Uh... <laughs> I have to go by myself. You all wait here, I'll go. It's a terrible idea. Anyway, yeah, anyway. If he's up in that mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk me? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Um, I have a weird suspicion. Gates open. Oh, jeez. That, what? May's parents are going to end up being this thing. I don't know why, but that's just the feeling I get. We could, like, block it shut or something. Ah, dang, you're right. No. He, it, whatever. Uh... I have to go down in there! Well then. Looks like all of us friends are going. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang! Bang, bang, on a way, yeah! I know I want it! Bang, bang, la 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 la! <laughs> Wait a minute, let me take you there, ah! I hate that song. I don't know why I'm singing it. Night in the woods, are you? Oh, there we go. I was worried for a second. Dun 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 Geez, spooky! I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? Uh, it's been a weird few days. I've got all of this has happened over a period of like two or three days. So it's, I guess, has been a pretty big few days. Even though this... A lever? I want to push a lever. Can I push it? Let me push it? Oh, there's no option to. Darn! That... Could have really done something with that. Okay, I'm gonna jump now. Looks like it's, uh, the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us from a mile away. You sure you want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or, or dead already. I, I don't know what's going to happen down there. All right then. Down we go together. I wanted to pull the lever. It was the one thing I wanted to do. Oh, that thing's a gold. That thing looks old. Woo, words. I haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? Yeah, that baby our tour guide. I bet she knows a lot of history because of where she works and stuff. We have Possum Springs tours and pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Oh, this? This right here is in the brochure? Well, here we are now. <coughs> May, you okay? I, I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. I, I'm just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. It's that feeling you get when you die and wake back up. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. It's like asthma. That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy, but thanks. Shh, 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 shh. I heard something down there. You're going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm all right. We should be quiet. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. Sounds like a female huffing and puffing. Like maybe possibly May's mom. 
this is really cool, by the way, because I know that we're in the mine shaft, but it almost kind of looks like stars, which I really, really like, because I like stars. I like stars. I like star stuff. Uh, I also like, too, that we don't have to tra travel all of it. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Those are, these are actually really creepy sounds. They did a very, very good job with it. Making it spooky and whatnot. Y'all are gonna die in a mine. Ooh, I just noticed there's a star right there, like a pentagram. Oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something? Like the Church of Satan? And like, junk. Oh god, oh god. What is this? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here. Yeah, star. It it is kind of like a culty spot down in the mines. Maybe that's why they closed down the mines because a cult bought them over, and they were just like, "It's too dangerous. You can't mine in here." But really, it's, they're just they're doing cult stuff. That's what I would do if I was a cult. I'd be like, guys, it's too dangerous. You can't go in here, but I can. I have a flashlight. I know you're in here. Say something. I'm giving up on you. Well, how about this? Take a, take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, we're like five times scarier than you. Ooh. Oh, shoot. That was not a good idea. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Edie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're... Apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what, uh, who are you? Bunch of old boys doing the damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Th then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family, relation, or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait. So you think that Edie... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh god. I've seen this. Or I've felt it. it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? 20 years back or so, after the West Mine closed up past Brittle. Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water, and the water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we were standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or some of, so some men from the West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through and find the wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into the hole and never hits bottom. 
Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. I feel like I need Matthew McConaughey right now to go ahead and... All right, all right, all right. It's what brought you down here, girl. So what does this have to do with me or anyone? What do, I just still don't really understand what this is. So we're going to go black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something a, a hole in a cave told you to? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. <laughs> Words. While we worked ourselves to death. Uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this. You old dip poops. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at that church. But when Ed Scooter came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had that glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he takes is shining to. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it, but they said it could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time after we picked one out. Well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left back then. Picked. First time, first time. I want to know what this first time. First one into the hole by our own hands. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them into the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Uh, was that what you were doing the other night? Oh, no. I'm gonna do dot 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 because I think I'm next. I think I'm gonna be sick. We were never... We never picked no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been... Oh, God, no. Uh... Casey? I don't remember Casey. The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society kept a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. It was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. You c killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know that was taking a business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Run alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear some hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. Breaking bad? You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town a favor. Oh God, Casey's been down here that whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Shoot the main one so he falls in the hole. Oh, man. Alright, now throw it down or I'll shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at a night. Basic safety. I, I, throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. 
Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. They're monsters. None of this, none of this is happening. Oh man, we are not monsters, child. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday, old mouths, puffing smoke. And kids don't understand that we lost our world, it was built around. It used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at a grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. Oh! Oh! I get it now! I get why this game is so good! I'm gonna die down here. May is falling. May is gonna fall. May was falling into shapes. What just happened? Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any, uh, were any of you miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially? Like, or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's bad boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Uh, why should we help or why shouldn't we call the cops? We'll do that. And say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a log gate and an elevator that won't run? That you saw a hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Okay, so clearly that was a bad choice there. Because if no one is here to do this. You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. Okay, now I... I'll understand if you'll need some time to think it over so we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there, but we know who you all are. Ain't afraid to get to leave and probably I get permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. You don't know about this, about a thing about what he wants, what he is. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine. Whatever. It's a piece of poop anyway. <laughs> I, I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Talk later. Okay, well this is crazy. Old, old stuff in here. Wowzers. Wowzers. Okay. Now I get it. Now I get why this game is so good. Because they went with the culty route. And it's creepy. And it's fun. And it's spooky. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. Well, okay, duty. Hunky dory. So, Casey. Yeah. I. 
Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Really? I'm too tired to explain, right? But, like... They lost what they thought was going to happen. Which was what had happened like a long time ago. Or how they remember or picture it. And, and things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest. Sorry I lost it. It's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep. Sorry. Wait. Everybody shut up. What? Shh! I thought I... Uh-oh. 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 Oh no, this is not good. See? Kick. 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 Kick him in the face. Kick him in the balls. Kick him in the face balls. Whoa! I hope he's dead now, because that hurt. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Staying is not an option anymore. <laughs> Holy gosh. Is everyone okay? May! May! No! May, say something! <sighs> okay, good. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that anymore. Why are we laughing? <laughs> Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, let me rest. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How did you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aww. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. <clears throat> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air is coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a, a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. We have to live. Let's get out of here. There we go. I, I like that Bay's fingers don't bend. I think that's kind of funny. Yeah, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river, we're in a mine. Right. Oh, I can run now. Somehow I'm less exhausted now that I've almost been murdered. Hmm, I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in that, in the one foot of water. Right. <laughs> Well, that's not good. This is not a good situation. I shouldn't have run right into it. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but... You know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was just angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry when I ran home from college. On the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose 
I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. <laughs> You know, I can't understand you, right? Ah, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... May? Dude, you okay? Whoa. Uh, you got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you if you need to where we're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's a light over there. Do you smell that? I bet he did. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. Not gonna go back in the death water. Death water seems like a bad idea. Okay, I see how we can climb up. Uh, what is this? It might be a vent or something. Uh, keep the miners from suffocating way back. Looks old enough at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Uh, could get lucky and someone's out there in the woods at night. I, I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you, are you up for this? Yes. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper right now, like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like, like when your body is like, Oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Oh, uh, okay. There. Thank you those okay well ride those dolphins up out of here uh that's assuming i can even do this we'll watch okay all right guys i hate to do this to you but we are all out of time which means i need to end it right here so i will see you in the next one bye